querida audiencia, pues estamos aquí en el International Bike Show. Como ustedes podrán ver, hay todo estilo de bicicletas, las que estamos viendo ahorita hasta allá, que son bicicletas de familiares que tienen como cargo para transportar. Hoy en día la bicicleta es un medio de transporte muy importante en varias ciudades en el mundo y claro también aquí en Toronto. Entonces les vamos a estar mostrando los últimos diseños y modelos en bicicletas que existen internacionalmente y también aquí en Toronto, Canadá. Queridos amigos, estamos aquí en bicicletas Amigo, así como lo escucharon, Amigo. Y estamos con Adones, que nos va a platicar un poquito de estas bicicletas que ya tiene incorporada la parte eléctrica. Hola Adones, ¿cómo estás? Muy bien, gracias a usted. Bueno, platícanos de la bicicleta. ¿Por qué es importante? ¿Por qué es diferente esta bicicleta? O sea, que es, es muy importante para tener una bicicleta, ¿sí? Es, uh, es, por el, es bueno por el environment, es uh, bueno por tu set o tu, uh, ¿cómo se dice? Tu, uh... You can tell us in English. Oh, perfect. Okay, sounds good. All right. Well, we, we were giving him a hard time. So there you go, in English. All right, so these bikes are, they're great for anyone of any age and of any fitness level. Uh, basically, they are, they're all electrical. They're made from lithium and lead acid batteries, depending on which type of model you'd like. So basically, we have uh, the Amigo Bold right here. It's the red one. It's a, it's a 36 volt battery. It's great. It's basically like, like swimming. It's like a superhero. You're a bit able to go so much farther, so much deeper, so much uh, faster with the flippers on. So it's the same thing. Hi, we are here with uh, Greg Solevsky from the Gears Bike Shop, and he's gonna talk to us about how good, how beautiful, how easy it is to do these electric bikes. How are you? I am very well. Thank you for asking. Tell us about why it's important, why are people would choose an electric bike? Electric bikes I've found uh, are great for all sorts of different people. People who've been out of cycling for a little bit and want to get back into it. Um, as well as commuters, people who want to commute. Uh, it's a great way to sort of get rid of your car uh, and uh, do a lot of your the things that you normally do in your car on your bicycle. Just to sort of get back out there and enjoy the outdoors. And uh, I know they have batteries. How long it lasts a battery in a bike? Uh, the average battery you're looking at sort of 30,000 miles per battery. That's about 48,000 kilometers. Okay, so how many years are that? Uh, that really depends on how much cycling you're going to do. Um, usually after the first or second ride, people are sort of hooked on them. Um, I can't really give you an exact kilometer because it depends on uh, the terrain that you're doing. So someone who's going to be doing sort of uh, uh, hilly rides, the battery's probably not going to last that much longer because you're pulling yourself up the hill as well as the bike. Um, but someone who's flat commuting to and from work, uh, you get to work, you're refreshed, you're not sweaty, you can ride in your work clothes, um, which is another nice part about it. So what is the prices of e-bikes? What is your budget e-bike that you have? Prices sort of range from sort of around the $1,500 level to sort of around the five or $6,000 level. It does seem like a lot of money for the average person, but majority of the bikes that we do carry with the componentry that's on them, like for instance, this La Prairie bike right here has XT componentry on it. And if it did not have the battery assist on it, you're looking at about sort of three or $4,000. But with the battery assist on it, you're looking at about $6,000. Um, but you also have the battery assist with the bike, which is very nice. Okay, well, that's great. That's great information for all of you that you would like to use electric bike. Uh, they start to come more in the market. A lot of people are start using it more and more. Still cheaper, cheapest. The cheapest way to transport ourselves, uh, rather to go to a taxi, TTC, and even using our own cars. Thank you so much. You're very welcome, and, of any time. Um, where are you located, by the way? I'm located at 176 Lakeshore Road West, which is in Port Credit, Mississauga. We also have a store in Oakville, Trafalgar and QEW, and in Leaside. Okay, fantastic. Hello, everyone. We are here with Brenda and David. So we had these bikes where you can actually enjoy with your partner, with your friend, with your son, with your daughter, with anybody you want. It's a, some kind of like a two-seat bike. Two-seat, called the tandem bicycle. So what is it that inspiring you to bring this bike into the market? Um, we've been riding a tandem now for 34 years and it's the best way we find to ride. We stay together, we're ex exercising together and, and nobody gets left behind on the road. 
So you can't get lost. You can you can talk to each other. You go 10% faster than a single bike because you have more aerodynamics, and uh, it's just a lot more fun. Yeah, and uh, are you located in Toronto, Mississauga? Mississauga. Okay. Yes. So if if uh, if somebody is in, interested in buying a bike like this, yes, what is the budget buy you have for these kind of bikes? Um, we have 14 in stock at all times. We suggest they come for a test ride and uh, bring your helmet, your cycling shoes, and we'll send you on some quiet country roads near us. But um, it all depends on what type of bike they want, a mountain bike, a hybrid bike, a road bike, or if and what kind of spending limit they would like. Um, we make sure, we don't bring in a low end one because we don't want you coming back for parts all the time. We always make sure these are bikes that we would ride ourselves. Oh, this, that is a great idea because yes. people don't want to spend more money and parts and then, and then they buy brakes That's and then, right. you know, That's all right. these things. So, tell us where exactly Mississauga you are? Winston Churchill in Britannia. Okay. Right in, right in that northwest quadrant. Okay, and you open from? Um, we're open by appointment, but in the evenings and all day Saturday too. Okay, well, there we go, people. There is uh, this fantastic bike here where two people can ride together and always been together riding. And I thank you so much for being here. Thank you. We are here with uh, Matt Garrett from Scoot Canada. And we have seen this scooters. You just gonna blow your mind what they can do. You can you can actually travel in these scooters and take you everywhere you want. Hello, Matt. How are you? I'm good. How are you? So tell us about this amazing idea of scooting and around the streets and anywhere. So it's an alternative to cycling. It's much more portable. Uh, gives you that feel like a kid again experience as well. Um, not too many places can you, you know, take a bike with you. You have to lock it up. Whereas these, you can actually fold it up, take it with you. You don't have to worry about uh, transporting it or it getting stolen. And you have a lot of fun along the way. So how much is one of these, for example, this one here, that it has like an electric kind of... Yeah, we, we vary from body power to electric rides. Um, the body powered starting as low as 250, uh, the electric going as high as uh, 1500. Uh, that model right there is 1299. Uh, it'll go 25 to 30 kilometers range, so it'll get you where you need to go. And, and you know what guys, the other day I saw somebody in downtown with a zoo, everything, like an office person, driving one of those electric ones. Yes. So now you are located in Ottawa. Ottawa, yes. Ottawa. So yeah. how people can purchase you by, by online? By how? Yeah, we work with actually uh, through our website at scootcanada.com. That's where most of our salespeople can come and test ride in Ottawa as well. But it's definitely, we can reach the entire country through the online. Now, my last question important, sure. how much weight these uh, scooters can take? Okay, well, surprisingly enough, even the small little guys can handle up to 300 pounds. That one there, 375. Um, <clears throat> so even though they're quite small, they're made from very strong materials and can handle pretty much any rider. Okay, yeah. so here's all the information for the Scoot Canada, and I'll see you to the next boot. One, two, three, four! Hot off the press! The news, the time.